Today, I want to talk to you about how to set up gain staging with your virtual instruments. Hey guys, Chris here from Mixdown Online. I hope you're doing good now. If this is your first time here and you want to improve your music production, mixing, recording, and mastering skills in your home studio, just click on the subscribe button below. So now let's get into it. Now, if you're not familiar with gain staging, you can watch my video, the video I produced a few months ago, by clicking on the link on the top left. So you'll get to this uh, gain staging video explaining everything and all the concept behind gain staging. Now, for virtual instruments, instruments. Now, the thing with the VSTs like that, you know, they tend to have a very loud signal, especially if you're gain staging at minus 18 dBFS. They will surely have a higher signal than minus 18, that is for sure. So, what I tend to do is always to work my gain staging before I bounce to audio. So, bouncing all the MIDI into audio is something I always do before I get into a mixing session. So, this way I'm not stuck with virtual instruments in my mix session. You know, virtual instruments, they tend to take a lot of CPU, and so I don't want to have these uh, the CPU working harder than, than it's already working in a mix session anyway. So I'm going to avoid that by just bouncing everything into audio. So before I do so, uh, what I check, I check the gain stage of the instrument itself. So for example, here in this uh, recording session, we're going to focus on the piano for now. Okay, so now my VST channel for the piano is right here. So if I want to check if I'm at an average of minus 18, I'm just going to bring that fader up to zero. So this is one way of checking my gain staging for this instrument. Or I can just right click if you're in Cubase. You can just right click and go into global meter settings and make sure the meter position is at input. Okay, so now I'm just going to bring that down and my metering is going to be as if the fader was at zero. Okay, so now, as we can see, my signal is way too hot. So I'm going to bring it down because I want to bounce that to audio. So there are several ways I can do it. First, I can use the, um, I can just bring that fader down, solo the track, and just export the track into a stereo track back into the project. So that's one way of doing it. And I can also select the segment, click on edit, render in place if you're in Cubase, and render settings. And now by having the, the fader, the piano fader down to a, an average of minus 18 dBFS, um, I can just make sure the complete signal path is selected in the render selection window. Uh, so this way it's going to take into consideration the position of the fader. So by clicking render, the fader will affect the signal coming out of Cubase, getting back into the session as a audio track. Um, now, the, my favorite way though is instead of doing all of this, what I usually do is I go directly into the instrument itself. Like um, in this case, we're into contact. I have a Alicia Keys piano loaded and I'm just gonna click on play. and bring down my output. Very simple. Okay, now I'm gonna bring back, bring back up my piano. And there you go. So that's a decent gain staging level at an average of minus 18 dBFS. So now I'm ready to bounce or ready to render, whatever you uh, you do to get your files, your MIDI files into audio. At this point, it, everything is gonna be gain staged and you're gonna be good to go. Um, so that's one, that's the way I usually do it. I just play with the output of the virtual instrument. So again, if you're mixing with your virtual instruments in your session, 
again, just play with the output of the instrument to gain stage your signal and then just continue mixing your, your song. So this is basically it, guys. Very simple, not that complicated. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. And don't forget to like and share if you like the video. All right, guys, I'll see you next time.